You are watching Tutormage. Our lesson for today is under MELC, Most Essential Learning Competency Code, M9AL-1A-B-1. Solve these quadratic equations by extracting square roots, factoring, completing the square, and using the quadratic formula. So today's topic is about solving quadratic equation by completing the square. So dito, bago tayo mag-proceed sa pag-solve ng quadratic equation by completing the square, kailangan alam muna natin kung paano mag-square ng binomial. Okay, so let's review. Let's get the square of A and B. So dito, alamin natin ang parte ng bawat term. So, this will be our first term and B will be our last term. Now, first step, square the first term. So, si A daw ay square natin. So, pag nag square tayo ng term, we are actually multiplying it by itself. So, that the answer will be A squared. Then, double the product of the two terms. Yun naman ang ating step 2. Double the product of the two terms, ibig sabihin, 2 times A times B. So, dito, kasama pati yung kanyang um, sign. So, nagkataon na positive, kaya positive na pareho yung ating A and B. So, multiplying it will give us 2ab. And the last step is to square the last term, which is your b. So, pag in-square natin ang b, para lang tayo nagmumultiply ng b times b. So, ito ay b squared. So, kapag ilatag na natin siya sa one line equation, ito ay equal to a square plus two a b plus b square. Okay, so, gawa tayo ng example para sa ating squaring abinomial. So, let's take for example, the square of x plus 5. So, let us follow the same step. So, identify muna natin. Ang ating first term ay x at ang ating last term ay positive 5. So, ito yung ating x, first term natin. Ang gagawin ay square the first term. So, pag sinabing square the first term, ito ay x times x talaga. So, ibig sabihin, ang x times x ay equal to x square. So, ito ang una nating ilalagay. Next, step 2, double the product of the first term and the last term. So, 2 times your x times your 5. So, 2 times x 2x times 5 is 10x. So, yun ang ating magiging middle term. And the last one is square the last term, which is positive 5. So, take note, ang ibig sabihin ng square, parehong number yan or parehong term yan na minumultiply. So, parang multiplying it by itself. 5 times 5, meron tayong 25. Okay. So, ngayon naman, nakuha na natin yung square ng ating binomial na x plus 5. Now, i-review natin. So, square the first term, 
double the product of the two terms, then square the last term. So, yun yung mga naging sagot. Ngayon, paano naman kung nawawala ang ating last term? Take note, dahil square ang pinag-usapan, ang last term talaga ay plus pa rin. So, kunwari nawawala ito. Paano natin hahanapin yung ating last term? So, i-check natin ang ating middle term with its preceding sign. Isali natin yung kanyang sign. Kasi pwede namang plus ito, pwede rin minus. Depende doon sa given na binomial. Okay, so for this case, positive siya. So, ibig sabihin, i-consider natin ang numerical coefficient ng ating middle term. O yung tinatawag nating linear term. So, ano ang numerical coefficient nito kasama ang kanyang sign? Meron tayong positive 10. Naintindihan ba? Okay, yung positive 10 na yon para makuha natin itong last term, may gagawin tayo. So, ito ngayon, kailangan nating i-divide sa 2. Pag na-i-divide sa 2, kailangan natin kunin yung sagot dito, i-square natin. Ready na ba? Okay. So, 10 divided by 2? Tama. 5. So, si 5, i-square natin. Okay. 5, ang square of 5, ang ibig sabihin nito, dalawang 5, na pinag-multiply natin. So, what is 5 times 5? Tama. 25. Kaya, ang sagot dito ay 25. So, bakit natin ginawa ito? Dahil mamaya, kakailangan natin, natin, natin ang prosesong ito sa pagsagot ng ating uh, quadratic equation. So, isusolve natin later ang quadratic equation by completing the square. Kanina, pinag-aralan na natin kung paano mag-square of a binomial at nung nakompleto natin yung square of a binomial, ginawa rin natin yung paano pagkawala yung last term. So, ngayon, i-apply natin yung process na yon sa pagsagot o paghanap ng ating solutions for this quadratic equation. Ito ay susod natin with the use of the completing the square process. So, simulan na natin. So, step 1, apply the uh, e addition property of equality. Ibig sabihin, tanggalin natin si negative 7 dito sa left side. Kasi, hindi niya makomplete ito. So, tanggalin natin by means of APE. Rewrite natin ang x square minus 6x plus abang tayo ng blanco equals so si negative 7 i-shortcut na natin sa so, by additive inverse kasi magiging 0 ito so ang inverse ng negative 7 ay positive 7 so take note kung anong inad dito yun din ang i-add sa kabila so pag naging 0 ito positive 7 ang inad positive 7 din ang i-add sa kabila so parang 0 plus 7 but what is 0 plus 7? Siyempre, 7 na lang. So, ilagay na lang natin na positive 7. Next. Next process yung ginawa natin. So, check natin itong middle term. Ano ang kanyang numerical coefficient? Take note, kasali ang kanyang sign. So, meron tayong negative 6. So, this negative 6 must be divided, divided into 2. Then, later, we will square the quotient. So, what is negative 6 divided by 2? That is negative 3. So, square natin. Square of negative 3 is positive 9. Ngayon, si positive 9, inagay na natin dito sa ating blanco kanina. Tapos, mag-add din tayo dito ng positive 9 sa right side of the 
equation. So, this time, kumpleto na ang ating square. So, pag kumpletong square of binomial, ibig sabihin, pwede na tayong, uh, pwede na natin kunin ang kanyang factor. Kasi perfect square na siya. Perfect square trinomial. So, lagyan natin ang square dito sa labas. O, ano bang square root ng x square? Yun ay x. Ano ang sign sa gitna? Minus. At anong square root ng 9? 3. So, ibig sabihin, eto yung x square minus 6x plus 9. Pag kinuha natin yung binomial factor nito, ay may dalawa tayong x minus 3 na pinagmultiply. Okay, so this is equal to, what is 7 plus 9? This is positive 16. Kailangan muna natin matanggal yung square root. So, ang gagawin naman natin, let us extract the root of that by simply affixing the square root sign to both sides of the equation. O, take note, kapag nag-affix na tayo ng square root sign dito sa ating constant, dapat maglagay na tayo ng plus minus. Dahil nag expect tayo ng dalawang klaseng, um, dalawang klaseng, Sagot dito, it's either dalawang positive, dalawang negative. Okay, so let's answer this one. So, square root of x minus 3, makakancel ang ating square root sign at ang ating square. Kasi ito ay galing sa x minus 3 is square at ang radical ay actually raised to 1 half na uh, exponent. So, pag Kinuha natin ang product ng exponents natin, 2 times 1 half, it will be 2 over 2 or 1. Kaya makakancel. Maliwanag ba? So, ituloy natin. Ngayon, naiwan sa left side is x minus 3 equals plus minus anong square root ng ating 16. So, square root of 16 is 4. Now, apply again Addition property of equality. Kasi, negative 3, kailangan matanggal siya dito. Dahil kailangan, ang nasa left side na lamang ay x. Para masabing nakuha na natin ang roots or solutions ng ating given quadratic equation. So, by additive inverse, dagdag tayo ng positive 3 or this will become positive 3 on the right side of the equation. Then, let us attach or idugtong natin yung plus minus 4. So, dito, nakuha na natin yung sagot. Pero, take note, para hindi kayo nalilito, kailangan split natin. Kasi, ang ibig sabihin ng plus minus, may dalawa tayong value for our x. So, ang una, x equals 3 plus 4, kunin natin, what is 3 plus 4? That is 7. Ibig sabihin, ang isa sa mga roots ay positive 7. Ngayon, yung isa, x equals 3 minus 4. So, x equals addition of integers. So, kung nalimutan, balikan lamang ang video natin sa addition of integers. Positive 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang mga solutions natin for the given quadratic equation will be x equals positive 7 and the other one is x equals negative 1. Quiz time! Find the solutions of the following equation. Number 1, x squared plus 8x minus 9 equals 0. Number 2, x squared minus 12x minus 13 equals 0. Time starts now.
Ang mga sagot, number 1, x equals positive 1 at x equals negative 9. Number 2, x equals positive 13 at x equals negative 1. Nakuha mo ba? Congratulations! Like and subscribe to Tormed Up Learning!